Hey, happy Tuesday. Look who's in here. He keeps going in and out of the house. Wally, do you want to go back out? Are you trying to go out again? Wally. Wally? Yeah, Evie just glaring at him. I hate him. Wally, you want to go back out? You do? Look, you just came in. Okay. All right. Kind of, kind of indecisive, kitty. We put up a tarp yesterday. I, it looks, it's, I'm going to get some bricks to kind of uh, weight it down a little bit. I'm not going to put the bricks on the tarp. I'm going to tie some string to the bricks and then tie the strings into the grommets to hold it down. But the tarp, the tarp is way bigger than it was supposed to be. I went to Ollie's and I got a, an 18 by 20 tarp. There's the goblin. I got an 18 by 20 tarp. This thing is way bigger than 18 by 20. I just play doorman to these cats all day long, I swear. It's it's insane. I just, ugh. I don't have on any makeup yet. I'm actually gonna try to do a charity video today, but I have to go run a couple of errands first. I don't wanna put on makeup until I'm ready to like start, so. But I wanted, I wanted to read something and just, it made me so sad and I just wanted to share. Look who's back at the door. He, so he goes out the front door and I literally just let him out. What the hell? So he goes around the house and he just comes back and then he wants to come back in this door. I just play doorman all day long. The attorney I work for sent me an email yesterday and said that his dog died. And I was so sad because we've worked together for years and he used to go home at lunch every day to take his dog out to walk his dog. And it's so sad. Um, she was 16 and a half years old. And I asked him, um, you know, I said, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. I remember you used to, you know, go home and take her out for a walk. And, oh, I know, that's awful. So, yeah, he responded. And uh, this... Um, I wanted to just this this little email he sent me just made me so sad. He's um he's in his seventies. He and his wife are are in their seventies, and um, he sent me this email. I just wanted to. I'm not gonna give like the dog's name or anything. We'll call her Hannah. We'll say the dog's name is Hannah. He said, "Thanks, Mary. So many walks and car rides with Hannah, and Hannah adopted me as her buddy someplace along the line." I started taking her to the park for a morning walk in December 2006 when she was a pup. Then she would run with me. He used to run a lot. Uh, and she loved to chase tennis balls. She survived a copperhead snake bite, chasing a coyote, and flying first class to Seattle. We don't have any other pets, and I think Hannah may be our last one. So sad. I had to say bye to my son. He was leaving. But yeah, it's all oh, that just makes me so sad. He was really, this dog was like his best friend, and I just I feel so bad for him. So that sucks. I just I just read that and it just made me so sad. It's hard, and it it makes me think. You know, your your last pet. Hang on. Sorry, he forgot a bag. He had to come back in. He forgot his laptop bag. He okay. So, wow, yeah. So I was thinking about your last pet, you know, and I've never really thought about that, but you know, like I just have a continuous cycle of pets, like Wally, who just took off again for some reason. I cannot imagine my last pet just, you know, getting to that age where you, you realize it might not be a good idea to get another pet. I don't know if I'll ever get to that point. I don't know. Well, hell, my dad's 82, and, and he, I don't know if his dog ever turned up. I haven't talked to him in the last few days. You know, his dog jumped out of his truck when he was out running around town and hasn't been able to find his dog, so that really sucks. I just, I, I, I just feel like I, I look like a wrung out dish rag this morning, sorry. Um, I, I did a thing yesterday. I'll show you what I did. I still have tools out because I have to do I have to do another thing, but uh, 
I replaced the toilet paper holder in here because I will show you what Boop does. Let me turn this light on. Let me show you what Boop does. Boop does this right here to the toilet paper. This was a brand new roll. She shredded it down to this point. I put in a Boop proof toilet paper holder. It's as tight as I can get it. It's a little wobbly. I'm not crazy about it. I got it on Amazon. The only problem is the Costco, the rolls of Costco toilet paper are so big that it, it doesn't really work properly in here when you first put it in. But I guess I'm just gonna have to live with it, either that or go back to some other type of toilet paper. But hopefully she will not be able to shred that right there. She can't get to it. So it just sits in there. It's not on anything. It's just sitting in there. But the, the Costco toilet paper is, is wide and, and big, and I, I really like it. But I may have to go back to some other type of toilet paper because this just doesn't... It's just so big in there. Like, you can't... You're supposed to be able to pull it out, but you, you can't. So... Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, yeah, so um, I'm gonna actually put up another one of those toilet paper holders. I bought two of them. Damn, things were $30 each. I bought them on Amazon. And uh, the toilet paper holder in my bathroom, she can't really get to, because I have those double doors and I always keep them closed so she can't really get in there. Um, she never really messes with my toilet paper. Of course, now that she has no other choice, she might actually try to. I guess if she does, I'll replace mine as well. But um, I'm going to put one in the upstairs, uh, the boys' bathroom upstairs, because she shreds the toilet paper in there every chance she gets. And you can say, well, put it on where she can't roll it. No, it doesn't matter. She's not trying to roll it off the roll. She's just shredding it. She just sharpens her claws on it. And she will destroy an entire roll of toilet paper in like a minute. It's just completely, it's shredded all over the floor. It doesn't matter how you put it on the roll. She's not trying to unroll it. She's shredding it. I've never had a cat who did that. This is the first time I have ever had to deal with this. I guess I should consider myself lucky. So I decided to go on Amazon and look for just like pet proof toilet paper holders. And I found this one and it looked like it would work. So, okay. So, um, but yeah, the, I wondered about that. Because looking at the measurements, I thought the Costco toilet paper will barely fit. And I don't know how you're going to be able to unroll it. But anyway, you could just take it out of the holder, I guess. It's not ideal, but at least I'm not having to replace the damn roll of toilet paper. I was keeping the bathroom door shut, but every now and then the door gets left open. And if she finds the door open, she will immediately go in there and shred the toilet paper. It's like it's become a game to her. Ooh, somebody forgot to shut the door all the way. Woohoo! And that's what she does because she's a goblin. She's a little monster. A little demon cat. So, yeah, I'm going to put up one in the, in the other bathroom. Mine is fine for now. So, I'm, I'm not going to put it, I'm not going to put one in there unless it becomes a problem. So, I always keep those double doors shut so she can't, get, you know, I don't do it because I don't want her to get in there. I just keep them shut out of habit. I don't know. I don't like them being open. I like them being closed. So, I am headed off to put some gas in my car and then I'm going to stop at Walmart and I'm going to get some silver nail polish. I'm going to have Charity wear that, that shiny dress I got at Goodwill because I have like no other use for this dress. So, I'm going to get her to wear it. Um, and I, I decided I wanted to paint her nails silver. I don't know. I just, I want to. So I was looking through my nail polish last night and somehow I have no silver nail polish. All the silver nail polish I had was really old. And you know, after a while it develops that smell. Like it starts, you know, it starts to stink. So, yeah. So I got rid of it. I know people say, well, you can add nail polish remover to it to thin it. It wasn't that it was thick. It's just that it was old and starting to smell really funky. So I got rid of all of it. I thought I had at least one bottle in there, but no, I don't have any. I went through all of it last night. 
I'm using you as a shield for the sun because it's like right there. <laughs> Woo, it's bright this morning. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to just run into Walmart right quick and get a bottle of silver nail polish. And so I will paint her nails. Charity, oh, I don't know what it is about her. I really... I have to be kind of a diva when I do a video with her because I cannot be interrupted. If I get her interrupted, I completely lose my train of thought and it takes me forever to get back on track with her because there's no script. I just make it up. And in this video, she's going to be critiquing Halloween costumes of her students. And I have no idea how that's going to go. I tried to brainstorm some stuff yesterday and I was having trouble coming up with stuff for her to say or, or talk about, like, what costumes would her students, damn it, that's bright, what costumes would her students wear? So, I, I gave it some thought, but when I'm in the middle of that, if somebody rings the doorbell, and, and that's when everybody rings my doorbell, the FedEx guy, the UPS guy, Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, man, everybody is ringing my freaking doorbell. They don't, I mean, I could be here all day. I could be at home all day and nobody would stop by. Let me try to do a charity video and everybody in the county has to come to my house for some reason. So, of course, I do have two people coming to my house today that I already know of. Jesus, I'm going to get blinded. Um, so, I talked to the, the company that did the drywall work and they're going to come by and caulk around that hole. I was going to do it, but I thought, no, there's they, let them do it. So I contacted them yesterday and said, yeah, um, can you come out and caulk around that hole where the condensation pipe is on the back of my house? So he said, I'm going to send a guy out there today to do it, but I don't know what time he's going to show up. I'm like, of course you don't. It will be right smack dab in the middle of me doing this. And even though I don't need to talk to this person, all they have to do is go to the back of the house, caulk it, and leave. No, they'll come ring my doorbell because they'll need to tell me something or ask me something. And I am not coming down looking like I got an OnlyFans to talk to this person. I mean, you know how Charity looks. You know, they know how I look. I'm gonna come down looking like her. What were you doing in there? What am I interrupting? No, I'm not coming to the door looking like that. No, never mind the fact that once I have those nails on, I'm not doing anything I don't have to do because the nails make everything impossible. I can't do shit with those long nails on. So, I, I, you're not interrupting me. I'm going to do my video. And if you, you can stand down there and ring my doorbell all day. I am not coming down looking, you know, you know how she looks. I'm not coming down. I'm not coming slinking downstairs in that wig and those long, long ass nails and that dress. You'll be like, what the hell was, what did I just interrupt? No, not happening. You can just go cough the shit and go, thank you very much. I appreciate it, but please leave. Uh. So we're at the Costco. And so I don't know what time they're going to come by. He said, I literally don't know. It could be whenever I can get somebody out there. It could be at any point on Tuesday. Of course. Of, of course. I mean, I want to get it done. But, and then later I have somebody coming out to give me an estimate to get the part of my, na my neighbor's magnolia tree that's all over in my yard to get it cut back. I have no idea what that's going to cost, but there, there's a lot of it hanging over, and I'm tired of raking up maple, uh, magnolia leaves in my yard. Gas here for regular unleaded is $3.21. Premium is $3.41. I'm going to get the regular because I would not buy a car that takes premium because fuck that. That's one of the first questions I ask. When I'm looking to buy a vehicle, what kind of gas does it take? That tells me how how devilicious the car is. I'll be right back. Okay, it's it's doing its thing. So yeah, charity. Oh my God, charity videos are exhausting. I love doing them because she is just so funny. She's so ridiculous. She's so over the top and just. I mean, I'm I'm honestly nothing like that. I'm like the anti-charity. <laughs> but, you know, 
don't interrupt me. I mean, that's the only thing I ask. Like, can the universe just not interrupt me? Can I have like an hour where my phone does not ring, somebody doesn't come to the door, you know, some random cat is outside of my door hawking something up on the carpet. Can I just have an hour without that? And it's hard too because at some point I want to, I'm probably going to have to set something up downstairs to get a, I want to show you this dress. I want to have her walk around in it so you can see it. And I'm going to have to set that up afterwards with my nails and everything on. I'm going to have to set it up by myself because I'm at home by myself. Hang on a minute. All right. I'm good. Woohoo! I'm enjoying these gas prices. It's bad when this is considered cheap. Jesus Christ. Oh. So, I've had to get on to my younger son. He keeps bumping the heat up downstairs. I said, son, uh-uh, no, I have natural gas heat and it's gone up quite a bit. And I said, yeah, you, you, you don't get to touch this unless you have a job and you're putting in on this gas bill. You don't touch the thermostat. I'm cold. He's sitting down there in a t-shirt, no socks. Well, just walk out in front of me there, leaf blower person. He didn't even look. Dude, that's how you get killed. People come flying through here, sucking on their Starbucks, talking on the phone. They go run over you. People don't watch where they're going. People don't have any kind of situational awareness. I guess you get hypnotized by the leaf blower and you just forget. So, what was I saying? I don't know. So, I'm going, I, now I'm going to Walmart. I'm going to get silver nail polish for Miss Charity's nails. Hopefully, I can find one that dries fast because I hate sitting there with those talons waiting for them to dry. You know, some people say, well, paint the nails before you put them on, but I make a mess of that. It's better for me to just put them on and then paint them. I'm not good at painting the nails before I put them on. I just, I, it's just easier for me to do it after I've put the nails on. So that's what she's gonna be doing. I have no idea how it's gonna go. Usually when I do these videos where there's no script and I'm just making it up as I go, I always feel like it was terrible when I get done and I have come so close so many times to just not posting it. Like that was awful. That was awful. And I normally can't really remember anything that the character said. It's just like you go into a trance and you just let them talk. I don't even know what they say. And that's why it's hard for me to keep up with a storyline. I try, as soon as I finish the video, I have a notebook and I have different sections for the characters. And I'll try to jot down some notes of what they talked about so I can go back and look at that before I do another one because I can't remember. I want to do one with the gossipy lady. I just haven't, I just, I don't know. It's like every day at my house, there's just shit going on all the time. And I have to, when I do videos like that, I have to be able to clear my head and I need to just not really have anything else going on for a little bit. And it seems like just there has just been constant stuff going on at my house. I keep hoping it'll calm down, but then I keep scheduling more stuff and then I get mad because there's stuff going on at my house because that's just what humans do. We create problems and then we complain about them. <laughs> Yay. Good Lord, my phone is dirty. I just realized that. My phone is nasty. You don't realize how much stuff you have on your fingers until you look at your phone, like damn. You know, I, was, I used to complain about my kids making all the doorknobs sticky. Kids' hands are so sticky. I don't know, what, what the hell is going on with your hands? I was constantly having to tell my kids to wash their hands. Like, why, why is everything in this house sticky? What is that? What? I'm full of complaints today. So hopefully, the, whoever comes to do the caulk will just, they'll ring my doorbell and it will break my concentration. I know it, I just, I know this. Like if I decided to just not do the charity video today, they wouldn't show up. They would either not show up or they would just come do the work and leave without ringing my doorbell. That's just how it goes, but I will deal with it. I will, I mean, Lord knows there are people out there with much bigger problems than that. So I try to keep everything in perspective. Like, it's not that bad, Mary. You were complaining about stupid shit. Just 
stop it because there are people out there with way bigger problems than yours right now. So, <sighs> I don't know. That's all I know. So, that's what I'm hoping to do. You can't even see me because of the, day. the sun is just insane today. Look at me. I'm all dark. I'm a, I'm a silhouette. That's fine. It's like I'm giving an interview and I don't want to show my face. Oh, you can see me. <laughs> Ew, it's so bright. It's so bright. <sighs> Silver nail polish. Hey, that's all right. Any excuse to go look at the nail polish, I'm all about it. I'll probably come out of there with more than one color. I will come out of there with multiple bottles more than likely because I usually do. Uh that's one thing about organizing nail polish. I become familiar with any new colors or things that come out. And yeah. I tried, um, when I was at organizing nail polish the other day, I got that bottle of Salon Perfect Base Coat. There was one bottle of a Salon Perfect Base Coat, which I've never tried. And I bought it. And I'm trying it under this color, and I'm going to see how it did. It seems to be all right as far as helping to prevent chipping and stuff. This this color, this polish chips really easily, no matter what you do. Um, it's a pretty color, but it's a pain in the butt. I've already had to touch it up twice, and I've only had it on for like three days, maybe. Yeah, like I had to do major touch-ups to it. It was really bad. All right, we're at the Sprawl Mart. Wall hole. We're going to go in there and look for nail polish. Well, I'm going to go in there and look for nail polish. I'm going to make this quick so I can get home and start mentally preparing myself to do this. And I always get happy because I get in my bathroom in there, my little my little uh, mirror and my lights, and I've got Bruno Mars playing. And, you know, this is like the last phase. Every, after everything is ready, everything is set up, I have all of her stuff together. Um, I have a little playlist of Bruno Mars that Charity really likes, and uh, I start playing that, and that's what I listen to while I paint my nails. And paint, putting on my nails is the last thing I do. I have all the jewelry on. I have everything set up, ready to go. So once the nails are dry, all I have to do is sit down and start. So I'm all happy at this point because everything's ready. I'm thinking about the stuff she's going to talk about. And I am just grooving to Bruno Mars, and it's just awesome. So, I always like that part of it. That's always really cool. So, hey, hey, that's fun. Oh, my God. Okay. So, anyway, God, my hair is just like, does anybody else have hair that does this? Like, you just have these little hairs right here. This just go, wee! They have their own little party right here, no matter what you do. You can spray it with hairspray. You can lay it down with whatever. No, I will not be denied. And they're just up there doing the Macarena, you know. However the hell that went, I don't remember. Um. Yeah. Shoot. So, hopefully I will get that done today. Hopefully I will not get interrupted too much. That's better. I will block the sun with my massive head. So... Thank you so much for being here. Happy Tuesday. It's going to be a good day. It's actually going to be a beautiful day weather-wise. Um, but yeah, I'm having somebody come out later to give me an estimate to trim back my neighbor's magnolia tree. Because it is just constantly dropping those big-ass magnolia leaves all over my yard. And I, I have to, pr pretty much year-round, I have to go out there and rake, him, rake them up. And in the early summer, it was really bad. I am constantly raking those damn things up. So, I'm going to see about getting just the part on my property cut back. I have no idea what that would cost because it's a pretty big tree. It's a huge magnolia tree. So, I, I if I had to guess, I'm going to guess $500. Now, we'll see how close I am. But anyway, I have somebody coming out later today. That's going to be over, on over in the afternoon that they're coming out. And it's just to give an estimate. They're not doing anything. It's just an estimate. So, <sighs> we'll see how that goes. I just want to get it done because that tree is driving me crazy. So, thank you so much for being here. I really hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you again soon.